We're in Jungbokgung Palace today. I'm gonna explore the main palace areas and these old, uh, beautiful buildings. And later we'll go eat some street food. Stay tuned. Which building is this one? Kun Jong Jong Hall. This is the main place for events. Alright, we're just gonna walk to the main entrance to see if we could find some information because we realize we don't know nothing. <laughs> and uh, just fair warning, we're gonna butcher every Korean word and name out here, so we'll try our best. This is Hung Nyamun Gate that we're standing underneath. The main gate is. Gwangwamun Gate. We know Gwangwamun because we got off there when we first arrived. Yeah. Hong yeah. Nyamun Gate. And then we go to Kunjungmun Gate. And then we go through to the main buildings and there's explanations for all of them. Professional photographer. <laughs> We just met some cute Vietnamese girls that were renting the handbook too and they would look so cute we took a photo for them. Talked to about Vietnam with them. So nice. We're so well traveled. I'm sitting on Soju Ha. <laughs> um, Ooh, sounds tasty. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Su Su Jong John Ha. The weather today is nothing short of perfect. <laughs> Coming up on number 12. Taewon John Hall. Oh, built late in 1800 something. So this building was completely destroyed during the Japanese occupation and it was restored in 2005. Compared to other palaces we've seen on our travels, it's obviously a lot more understated. Not so gold and glitz and glam and all that, but still very beautiful. Looks very humble and much like a lot of other Korean things, just like a, a cool aesthetic, but doesn't have to do much to impress. Wow, that's a short door. Can you fit through it? <laughs> I've hit my head multiple times on this Asia trip already. You're tall, duck your head. Palace visit, check. <laughs> Gyeongbokgung Palace is a great place to wander around for a few hours and get your steps in. Admission was only 3,000 won and it's open every day from 9 to 5, except Tuesdays. 10 out of 10, we recommend. My 
in the night market. Got the scallops and cheese. She roasts the she roasts the scallops, puts it on a shell, scallop shell, and then puts cheese on it and then flames it. I'm scared of the Cheesy and seafoody. Cheesy, very, very melty, very good. I want to eat more of this cheese. Mmm. Yum, yum. The cheese sauce is very mild, not spicy at all. And I could have definitely put on more lemon or like squeeze the whole lime over it. Interesting. That's good. You like it? It's greasy, cheesy, and fishy. Mm. 10,001. Alright, that was very really good. Time for the next thing. Let's go! <clears throat> the money box is a trash can. <laughs> You see, <laughs> looks similar to the other side. Just give it. It's kimchi pork belly roll. Let's see. I think it's gonna taste exactly how it sounds. I know, me too. <laughs> me too. Next time I need you to take the first bite. It's tasty. It's exactly what it sounds like. Mm. Pork belly kimchi. Stuff. It tastes exactly how it sounds like. <laughs> I'm getting half the box because I don't want to get the whole box. It's a dragon beard cookie, traditional cookie. I don't know what the strings are made out of, but I think they're made of sugar. <laughs> the inside is peanut. So let's try it. See? Mmm. Very nutty. Very nutty. And much more moist than I thought. Because you put some like peanut powder inside. It's very moist. Very nice. This is a cheese bomb, I have no idea what it is, but uh, since we're waiting in line for the pancake <laughs> and I'm kind of hungry, just got it. <laughs> mm. Is it takoyaki? Told you. Donut. Hot, cinnamony, dense, a little greasy, 
fried, crispy on the outside, moist on the inside donut. It's oozing. <laughs> Oh, it's hot. Mmm, fried dough. Yeah. Haven't had that in ages. What was your favorite of today? I think my favorite was the, uh, the cheese bomb. That we just had? Yeah. It's a okonokinyaki taki. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Put it on the screen if we haven't already. Ice cream is a big disappointment. It tastes like water with flavor in it. It's not a soft syrup, it's not creamy. Mm. Real ice cream. Five thousand, and the other one was three thousand. Okay, a little more, and get the better quality. Okay, that's it for today's video. We're just gonna finish this ice cream and walk around and call it a night. What an eventful day. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.